Hi everybody, today I will show you how to bulk upload the products on Shopify using CSV. So let's just begin. As you can see that we are inside the dashboard of our Shopify store and if you go into the products, you will see that we don't have any product here. So if I want to import the products or if I want to upload the bulk products, I will simply click on the import products and from here I can simply upload the CSV file that has the data of the product and we can simply upload it from here and it will actually uh, import all the products from there. But before that we have to learn about the template CSV file of the products. Okay, so first of all I will go into the Google and here I will simply search import products in Shopify using CSV. Okay, so as you can see the importing products with the CSV file and here we also have the using CSV files to import and export the products by the Shopify help center. So we have to click on this and with the help of this article, we will learn to bulk upload the products with the CSV file. So first of all, what we need to do, we have to download the sample product CSV file. So click here and it would actually download the product template file. So let's click on the product template file here. And you will be able to see the bunch of different columns here. Okay, so as you can see here, we have these number of the columns in our sample template file. Okay, so the first one is actually the handle. So if I give it a space here, and the second one is the title. Okay, so the handle and title columns are actually the required columns. So if you want to update the data of the current products with the help of CSV file, you are required to use the handle column but if you are importing the product for the first time you are just required to use the title column here and after that we have the body in the html format and we have the vendor we have the product category we have the type tags published and we have the option one and in the option one we have the name and the option one value and option two name value and if we go further you will be able to see the variant here. So in the variant, we actually have the variant SKU and we have the variant gram as well. And we have the variant inventory tracker, inventory quantity, all right, so the policy and you have the image. So you have the image position. We have the image alt text with the gift card, SEO title, description, and you can explore the other options or the other columns by yourself. You don't have to worry because the Shopify help center actually has a really good description about all of these columns. So first of all, we will actually go back to the Shopify help center. And from here, we will actually learn more about the CSV file here. Okay, so the first thing is consideration for the product CSV file. So before you use the product CSV file, review the following considerations. So you have to review these considerations before using the product CSV file. Okay, the first thing is formatting the product CSV file. So if you want your CSV file to function correctly, the first line of your product CSV file must be the column headers as specified in the product CSV description table. Okay, so this description table is really important if you want to understand about the product CSV file. So let's click here. And now as you can see that we are inside the description of the product CSV file. So in the description of the product CSV file, we have the name of the column and along with the description. So as we know, we have seen the handle, uh, we have the title, we have the body, we have the vendor, uh, product category, and along with that, we have the description about that particular column. So let's just see the description of the handle. So handles are actually the unique name for each product. They can contain the letters, dashes, numbers, spaces, ascent on the other characters including the peers so handle are used in the url for each product so we have given an example here so if we have the handle of women's uh, snowboard should be the women's snowboard and the product url would be uh, something like that okay so we actually use the handle in the url here so after that we have the title it would be the title of your product that women's uh, snowboard after that we have the body so the body would be in the html format and we have the vendor here we will simply write down the name of the vendor uh, for that particular product and after that we have the product category a label uh, that describe the type of the product and it is used to calculate the product's tax rate in the united states 
so after that we have the type so the type is basically describing the category of the product and we have the tags so tags are a comma separated list of the tags so after that we have the tags so after that we have the published uh, column so this would indicate a product is published on the online store or not if the value is true it simply means the product is published if the value is false it simply means the product is not available on your online store so we also have the option one name and the value so if a product has an option then enter its name so for example we can uh, use the color here and we can write down the name of the option here which is color so here it would have the name and here it would have the value so the name of the option would be the color so color name and here it would be the color value and in the similar way if i want to use the second option so let's just say it is the size so in the name i would simply actually write down the size and in the value i would simply write down the value of that uh, option so in the similar way we have the option three we have the variant sku we have the variant grams uh, inventory tracker inventory quantity and the variant inventory policy we have the variant fulfillment service we have the variant price variant required shipping and we have the image store image position alt tag for the image gift card seo title description so you can explore the other columns and the description by yourself so now we we'll simply go back to our shopify store and from here we will simply upload our csv file so click here okay so now what we need to do if you want to overwrite any current products that has the same uh, handle you will simply check this otherwise if you are just uploading the new products here you will simply click here and go to the downloads csv file so we have the product template here click here click on the open and upload and preview okay so as you can see here we are actually importing the three products that has the five SKUs with the three images all right so let's just import the products here all right so now you can see that we have the three products available in our shopify store okay so for example if you have the data but you don't know how to create a csv file so the process is really simple first of all you just have to go to the excel sheet if you are using the excel sheet otherwise you can use the google sheets as well so excel sheet here and you can see here we have this excel sheet so if you want to save the file in the csv format and you have the data so what would you simply do you will simply click on the file here and from here as you can see the option of save is click here and you have to select the location here so that is okay so now as you can see that we have this option save as the type so if you want to save the file in the csv file you would simply choose the csv file otherwise you would actually have this format so if you want to save the file in the csv format you would simply select the csv here and click on the save here and this would actually save your file in the csv format so one more thing here if you want to create your own product csv file what you need to do you simply click here in the file and i will actually create the new file here and i will go with the blank workbook so now if i just go back to our shopify help center all right so that is that is it you will be able to see that uh, required columns in the product csv file that these columns must be present under the following condition so if you are creating the product csv file to import the new products the only required column is the title but if you are adding the variance for the product then the handle column is also required and handle column is also required when you want to update the products using the csv file the handle and the title columns are the required columns and after that we have the data dependencies even though the title and the handle columns are only the required columns when you update the product using the csv file uh, for example if you update the column that is related to the variant sku or the variant grams then the data in those columns depends on the data of the corresponding variants uh, okay so in this case you must also include the option one name and the value okay so if you go further in this article you will be able to see the column and the default values created when the column is blank so these are actually the default values when you create the column but keep it blank okay so these would be the default values of these columns so we also have the overwriting product details using an import csv files so if you want to know more about this you can simply give it a read so now let's go back to our csv file that we were creating to create a simple csv product file here i'll just simply write down the title 
all right so here i would simply select the name of the product so that would be the t-shirt for example and we have the toy and we have the teddy here okay so let's save the file in the documents and it would be into the csv format okay so that would be the book only so let's save this file all right so yes now go back to our shopify store here and upload this file here so let's click on the import and add the file go into the documents upload the csv file click open upload in preview and as you can see that we have the three products the title of the first product is actually the t-shirt so let's click on the import products and you can see that we were able to upload the products only with the title column that were necessary so you can also add the other columns uh, if you want to add in your products and after uploading the bulk products uh, using the csv file if you see any problem in the data of the product you can simply go to the product and you can manually modify the data here in the product and that is how we do the bulk upload of the products uh, in shopify using the csv file and this is all for this video if you really find this useful, hit the like button and subscribe the channel.